متابعين الجدد اشترك الآن في القناة ليصلك الجديد بالضغط على الزر الأحمر أسفل القناة مع تفعيل الجرس ولا تنسوا دعم المقطع بلايك شكرا لكم جزيل الشكر so happy to see Manchester City here tonight it is the first time ever that they have played in Japan and that is what they are playing for here tonight the Euro Japan Cup 2019 the two sets of players now making their way out to a packed Nissan Stadium it is the largest football stadium in Japan Plenty of shared knowledge between these two clubs, and certainly a shared style as well. Pep Guardiola said yesterday this game would be the perfect test for his side. He was pouring praise on his opponents here tonight, saying when the sides play the way that these two both do, football is magnificent. Silva both over this free kick it will be David Silva to take he plays it towards the far post headed back across goal and a real opportunity there for Manchester City one in which Imeric Laporte could not make the most of City forced to go back to Bravo it's good pressure again by Yokohama this is going to be a real test here for City to get their thinking right back up to speed but what a wonderful ball by De Bruyne Sent across looking for Sane, he should keep it in play. Which gives you an indication with which the way City can just open teams up. It comes back to Zinchenko. And Park gathers it in at the second attempt, just as Bernardo was looking to pounce. Shadow ball by Bernardo Silva. Now, could be a real chance here for City, but Sterling unable to find David Silva. The ball just running out of play, but it's those clever threaded passes which are posing the problems for Yokohama here. Bernardo Silva brilliantly found by Bravo. Still Bernardo Silva. Now Kevin De Bruyne checks back onto his left foot. And a glimpse at the superstar quality of Kevin De Bruyne. A fantastic goal. And Manchester City ahead here. No real emotion on display by Pep Guardiola. But what a wonderfully worked goal this was by Manchester City. Bernardo Silva brilliantly found some delightful touches from him. And then just look at that chop inside by De Bruyne before that ferocious finish off his left foot. forwards in this attack and a chance for an equalizing goal here now Marcus Junior and now the follow-up and Yokohama have drawn level Keita Endo the man to score for a while it looked as if it wouldn't go in but Yokohama persisted and finally got that equalizer Sane, delightful first touch into the area he goes. Will he look to get a strike away? Leroy Sane suddenly plays around it, but he still gets his effort goalwards. Just lifted over the top. Wriggled away from close attention. Manchester City do for the boy in a rolls it square. Clever free kick. A rehearsed routine. Bernardo Silva couldn't apply the finishing touch. Yokohama really drawn in there. So much space afforded to Bernardo Silva. The ball came to him quickly, but a player of his quality knows that it should have been a second goal of the night. Now De Bruyne very quickly got himself bursting forwards there, and now he has managed to play Raheem Sterling in. Can he find the finish? You bet he can. And Manchester City are back in front and you wondered just how long it would take for that link up between De Bruyne and Sterling to pay off. And it pays off just before half time. Lovely ball pushed forwards by De Bruyne off the outside of his right foot. And there was no catching Raheem Sterling from then on. 
cool calm finish slotted beyond park who perhaps is now thinking twice about coming off the line just as quickly due to that yellow card a wonderful calm finish a third goal of pre-season for Raheem Sterling Chance for Marcus Junio, who just clips it goalwards off the outside of his right foot. It's a wonderfully worked move by Yokohama. Oh, this work kindly, it may just do, it's over the top, it should have been an equaliser. Miyoshi gets it completely wrong. First in behind, he's got Sterling making his move towards initially the front post. The cross was cut out, second opportunity here for Walker. It's a great ball in. He picked out the run of David Silva. The Spaniard couldn't quite apply the finish. Darting run towards that front post. Perhaps slightly put off. Knowing that Park was flying off his line. Sane looks to work it goalwards off his left foot. Now here is Nemecha who hopes to represent Germany at full senior level in the future. He's denied. Smart stop. might come in the last 15 minutes here for Manchester City although it is worth noting no side scored more goals as the matcher plows through the challenges here he could have been stopped as well because he was very clearly being pulled back and they see here clear pull on his shorts there too many options as we mentioned in that part of the pitch of course Nicolas Otamendi still to come back but not rolls it across the box and there it is the goal which seals the game for Manchester City Lucas Nemecha the man with the finishing touch two of the substitutes combined how many times do we see Manchester City score with balls rolled across the edge of the six yard box it was Bernabe's ball and Lucas Nemecha bundling it home up off his left knee. De Bruyne, the man which put Manchester City ahead after 18 minutes of this game. A wonderful goal, cutting inside and striking beyond Park in the Yokohama goal. An embrace between the two head coaches who share similar philosophies and beliefs in the way that football should be played. And we saw an example of that here tonight. Attacking high energy, high speed football played in difficult conditions. Manchester City who came out on top. The Harmer did draw level in the first half. Keita Endo made it 1-1. Soon after that, De Bruyne goal. Raheem Sterling made it 2-1 just before half time. And then Lucas Nemecha wrapping up things for Manchester City. Two minutes into stoppage time. Manchester City winning by three goals to one. 